is Azad Engineering. Making its strong D Street debut, the stock lists at 720 rupees per share versus their issue price of 524, a premium of 35%. We have Rakesh Chobdar, who's the chairman and CEO of the company, joining us now. Thanks a lot, Rakesh, for joining in. Um, Congratulations on this stellar listing. I remember both Holmas and I had a conversation with you about uh, the nature of your business and what you do just a few days ago when your IPO opened for subscription itself. And this morning, we were once again, you know, reading the DRHP. And because both of us are also big fans of cricket, the Master Blaster, etc., something that piqued our curiosity. Among all the shares that you issued in, uh, uh, you know, the pre-IPO, there was VVS Lakshman, there was Saina Nehwal, there was Nikhat Zareen, there was Sachin Tendulkar as well. What was really interesting is that while all the others were given shares at around 6,500-odd rupees or 6,845-odd rupees, Sachin Tendulkar was given these shares at 3,423 rupees itself. What was the reason? Because, you know, shares before and shares after were all given upwards of 6,000. So, is the master blaster also a good master negotiator or was it just uh, your fanboy moment for Sachin? Thank you. Thank you so much. So, uh, uh, first of all, uh, good morning everyone. Myself, Pakesh Chobda. I'm the chairman and CEO at Azad Engineering. Uh, very, very proud and momentous day today. Uh, we got listed and, you know, that, that was really a moment for us. All of us, the entire team, the entire family, entire Thing and and we could see some upward coming up and and honestly it was it was a very very uh, you know it's 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 full of excitement at the moment yeah so on the question what you're asking uh, on the thing is like uh, you know this this uh, the team what you mentioned they just moved in as a as a regular investors and and uh, it was a board's decision and and moreover when we talk about Sachin uh, so Mr Sachin was you know we spoke a bit before, uh, I mean the timing wise, though the transaction happened that time, but the, but the deal was, you know, the, the discussion was done a bit before then rest of them. So that's, that's, that's uh, something behind it. So basically the timing was, uh, you know, his timing was good on that. You all locked the price and the allotment happened at the price that was pre-decided. Is that correct? All right, yeah. because that's yeah. exactly what uh, we were wondering, you know, uh, what would Sachin have brought for him to get these shares at a 50% discount, Hormas? Well, he's made a 7x return on his investment so far. He's not a selling shareholder, so he's very much in the money. And, uh, well, Rakesh, good morning. <laughs> Thanks a lot for joining in and uh, many congratulations on your listing. Now that you've become a public company and fanboy movement aside now, let's get to numbers. Yes. With FY24, the first half done, the second half almost done now as well with the third quarter out of the way. Can you share some numbers now that you have gone public? What is what is the revenue margin guidance that you are expecting to do? Is that 30 to 32 percent margin range uh, feasible for the rest of the year? Yeah. What is the revenue and margin guidance you project? Yeah, so so yes, uh, what what we have given some guidance, you know, uh, on we have we have uh, the Q1 is gone, Q2 is over, Q3 is up, you know, almost done, and Q4 is there. So what what we have planned, what we have uh, uh, you know projected or something, we are we are on track, and we look a very very healthy uh, you know business coming up, as Azad has has finished his 15 years of gestation period. It's a very tough time which we have got and. The business what we are in and the product line what we are in is quite niche and the barriers entry barriers are very tough and and it usually takes this time what azad could come so in a way i could say the runway is now ready right the runway is now ready and we just need to you know uh, go and get our uh, our uh, the plans what we have made and uh, the numbers what we are giving as guidance are definitely yes uh, on the percentage wise i think it will be very, uh, very reasonable percentage growth. What Azadi is going to, you know, uh, witness going forward. Could you quantify reasonable? What, according to you, is reasonable given it's a niche industry and the growth prospects are high? <laughs> yeah, it. You see, we we have already have a planning of between 25, 30 percent is 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 definitely yes, uh, and I wish we can deliver more than that. But that's that's the plan and what we have uh, really seen in it. What constrains you? Just wanted to understand, 25 to 35 percent growth is what you can see. But, uh, you know, for you to be able to continue with this growth, what is it that you will have to do? Is it that something uh, you'll have to increase your capacity, increase your geographic locations? 
What is the constraint to growth according to you? Yeah. Yeah, I'll just take a few minutes on this because it's quite interesting. On, on the business, uh, as we say, it's niche, right? And it's, it's quite niche. And in terms of uh, uh, the, in the engineering, it's because very high complex, very high, in, highly engineered product, right? And these are, when we say it's life critical, when we say it's mission critical, yes, there are. And, and the period it takes to get the approvals, the, the qualification gets you approvals. And these qualifications, it takes its own time and there is no shortcuts to that. As we mentioned, these are directly related to the, when we say life critical and mission critical parts. So if you have those approvals now and, and if you talk about the market share or you talk about the TAM, the, it's a huge TAM. That huge TAM will, will be only accessible to you once you have the approvals. Now our approvals are there, but what about the capacity? So Azad is at such a beautiful junction at the moment is we have finished the qualifications, we have almost all the approvals, and the TAM is so large. Competition, we compete with China, we compete with Europe, Japan, America, and that's, that's where it's in such a great shape and great position that it's just what we have to increase is the capacity, which we have already planned, the, the factories in the making, it's, it's, it's well planned and it's just the increasing of the capacity. So based on your uh, manufacturing, you have two manufacturing facilities in the pipeline and you are saying that the company's capacity yeah. shall increase by 8.5x. Yeah. What is the capex that you are envisaging yes. for this? And by when does this capacity come on stream? Because, yeah. correct me if I'm wrong, currently, only one of your facilities is operational. So by when do the other two that are in the pipeline get on stream and when do they start supplying to your clients? See, now the, the plan is such, uh, the plan is such like the current capacity, the current facility, the current, everything what is currently today is good till FI25. We do okay. not have to invest much now and we do not have to do any kind of things till FI25. The new facility which is coming up will be an incremental sales from FI26. So that's that's good buffer we have got and this is just a phase one because the plans are quite massive. So this facility is eight and a half X is only the phase one. Like again, that, that facility is divided phase one, phase two. Then there is one more piece of, you know, it's around, around 170,000 square meters. Now 95,000 square meters, that is around eight and a half X size. That is in the making. And we already have another seven X which is we have kept ready because making these facilities and getting these approvals is, is not that we can easily get it. So once for all, we are making things. And as I mentioned you again, now is only the capacity. This is what we have to increase. Hard work is yeah. done. This is just okay. the capacity. We get that, Rakesh. You know, uh, if you could give us a sense, uh, now basis the numbers that you're talking about, 25 to 30% growth uh, over the next couple of years and the capacity that you have currently is sufficient till FY25. Yeah. That tells you that you can do about 400 crore worth revenue yes. up until FY25 basis your current capacity. Right? FY25, yeah, it's 400 plus, yes. Okay, a little over 400, say 450 crores. 400, 450 crores. Would that be reasonable? Roughly. Okay. Yeah, roughly. And uh, yes, beyond okay. that, with the capacity that you are planning and when those capacities come on stream, what is the peak revenue that you can generate from all the capex that you're planning and by when does that happen? Yeah, so uh, as I told you, the, uh, the CAGR, what we discussed just now is 25-30% is, is we have planned till the facility is up and running. It's so FI26 is the time where that facility is ready, the new one. And that's big, that's around 9x. And as we grow, it's just adding capacity and that straight away in your impacts your revenue. You add capacity, the revenue increase. So it's a very strategic decision with, with, the, with the orders we have or the, the, the customers what we have and the strategic discussions we have because we are a grow, we are a grow partner to our customers. We, we hmm. are a strategic uh, right. you know, a, a partner to the customer. So we have very, very well good plan being seen and right. and I can tell you it's it's going to be really an amazing right. story. Right. Uh, one quick question, Rakesh, due to paucity of time, I just need one quick answer from you. What is your current order book and by what do you see that growing into coming FY25? Yeah, see, uh, this industry works in a li little bit uh, in a differentiated way. Uh, we have we have uh, contracts in place, 
and we have called one is the rolling orders. So the contracts are strategic long term, but the purchase orders given are the time frame what we agree with the uh, with our customers. So it's only the it it comes as a rolling it comes as a rolling purchase orders. So that those rolling purchase orders amount from between 350 crores is, is again the capacity what we have between 300 350 crores i do i don't have the right number at the moment in my head right so this is where uh, got uh, it the numbers keep uh, you know rolling up and as you increase the capacity this this rolling numbers will increase all right we get that and typically it's uh, three to four times uh, asset turnover uh, basis uh, your investment no, uh, currently we are looking at around uh, 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 around 1.7, 1.8 is asset turn what we are looking at, at the currently. Okay, 1.7 to 1.8x asset turnover over the capex that you are building. Wish you and good gradually luck. increasing, of course, and gradually increasing, of course. All right, we take that point. Uh, thank you, wish you good luck and uh, all the best. Uh, we will keep speaking to you quarterly Thanks, now that you are listed. Take thank a you. short break, come back, uh, all bulls uh, blazing in the markets as we speak. Such